I did my presentation last year on the on the catalase. I pretended like I was bringing in actual catalase and I did a demo with it. Did you make that mess on my floor, Santos? No. Yes. I really did it. It was really chatting. Chatting, yeah. why would you do that? I didn't do it. <laughs> See, I tried to clean some of it up. That's why I went Oh, you were a yeah, true gentleman scholar. Floor, Santos. That wasn't me. Alright, so this is really concentrated peroxide. And it's so all the toothpaste. Store. Right? I'm going to try and use a little more to get this a little more exciting. Um, and then we'll try a little bit more soap. Cool. And then, if you're going to make toothpaste, you need additives. What's that? Additives. You can add them to it. It's food time. <laughs> and then, like all things, fire is better. Can you actually, like, push it? You could. It would not be. Tasty? Well, um, not be something very that you smart. would survive well from. <laughs> <laughs> I guess is the way I would describe it. Um, yeah, because this is really con this is really concentrated peroxide, so thirty percent. And right now, this is reacting. By the way, it's a it's a thermodynamically favorable process. It'll happen on some uh, above a certain temperature. But by adding a catalyst, you reduce that activation energy, and then really we'll get the reaction going. Yeah. Now you can see a couple things. You can see the liquid water coming off of this that's been heated up to steam and is cooling back down. So one product is the water. And then the other is the oxygen. You can't see oxygen, but you can see signs of it. So if we take this, put it out. Oh. Cool. Somebody said cool and it jinxed me. <laughs> I personally blame the tolls. So uh, the oxygen supports the combustion. So you can read that. <laughs> How come it's still not ignited when you take it out though? It usually does. I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean wrong with it. <laughs> Can we go do methane bubbles? No. Please. What the heck? 